Hello everybody. So today I will show you some highlights of fish behavior, which I filmed during the last couple of years. Um, these are partially some really interesting pieces of natural history where fish are fighting or you know defending themselves. Or in other cases, these are just funny and curious events, which by chance I came across because I dive that much. So let's dive right in, pun intended. The first video is one of two gobies, and these are the orange-dotted gobies, Valenciana puellaris. I filmed this in Siquijua, in the Philippines. All of these videos are from the Philippines, and these gobies, are, they live in pairs. So I assume this is a male-female mated pair. They dig a hole, they, they don't live with a shrimp, but instead they dig the hole themselves. In contrast to the shrimp gobies, they are, they are a bit bigger than the shrimp gobies. So, here's such a couple, and they're tending to the burrow, but what happens then is that an intruder comes, and there is this match, and it's uh, the, the sizing match. So fish often do this, that they they open their mouth to show how big their uh, mouth gape is and you know there's this sizing match going on here and eventually the intruder leaves but the intruder is kind of a jerk and he comes back and tries to you know uh, slap or sucker punch really one of the gobies but the other goby of the pair blocks it so this is a uh, such a fast behavior it's amazing right i mean fish are not smart these are fish are not stupid fish are very smart these are highly complex behavioral you know, performances here which we're looking at now next this is a very curious type of behavior which i filmed very close to my house actually in da in bakong on Negros Island in the Philippines. So this is a puffer fish which has a couple of catfish stuck to it. So I believe the puffer fish went into a crevice full of catfish. The catfish got stuck to it and then they died from the skin toxins, the skin poisons of that puffer fish. Very curious thing. I've never seen a photograph of this before or I've never seen this described in the scientific literature. Now, for something a little bit funny, we have a small Blenny, which is checking out a GoPro. So I was actually filming gobies with that GoPro. It was stationary so that I could move, that I would not spook the fish. And, you know, Blennies very often interact with, you know, man-made structures, anchor lines. But in this case, the GoPro, I thought that was, that was fairly funny. Now, next we have a little bit of hunting. We have a cornet fish, and the cornet fish, that's this elongated fish, it's using a puffer fish, that's of course the round fish, the other fish, as a hunting aid. So the puffer fish is going for you know, shellfish mussels, which it, it crushes, and the cornet fish uses it as a hunting aid, right? Like as a cover. Again, you know, highly complex, behavior really smart of this cornet fish here okay what do we have next more hunting and this is hunting in groups so this is a grouper this is in Apo Island also in Negos Island and it's starting into this crevice where there was a soldier fish and a second group enters that crevice too. So basically the second group tries to see, you know, what did my friend catch? You know, it, it wants to see whether it can get seconds essentially. And it's, it's checking out the situation. The first group then seemingly failed to actually catch something. So it's coming out now. Uh, well, no, actually, it's still looking to, to grab that soldier fish. And um, no, it didn't get anything, so it came out. And the second group uh, is somewhat disappointed that his friend didn't uh, catch anything on this hunt. And they take off together, you know, so social interactions between, between fish. Again, you know, this shows what kind of complex animals in terms of their behavior fish are. Okay, what do we have next? We have a seamoth, 
which is a fish related to the Stickings and it's highly armored and it's encountered by a snake eel. So this is a mimic of a very venomous sea snake but the eel actually is uh, harmless to humans however it's dangerous to small fish but not to the sea moth so because it's it's covered in this bony plate so it's inspecting the sea moth and then it's letting it go so this is another really interesting example of a hunting behavior in fish now next we have a mushroom coral pipefish which is also something I really enjoy watching and this is a very rare fish so where's the fish this white worm-like animal is a seahorse relative here it's in this ellipsoid and uh, this was discovered in Mindanao just across from Lagos Island where I filmed this and this mushroom coral pipefish lives its whole post-larval life in one mushroom coral between these tentacles and there are these white lines at the bottom of the mushroom coral and it, it's really camouflaged as such and we followed this individual mushroom coral pipefish for almost two years so this is a long life for such a small fish and it has probably escaped predation because of this invertebrate host and because of this sophisticated camouflage and it's I believe it's foraging for plankton uh, judging from the position of its mouth um, on its head and yeah this is very unfish like really I mean this this looks like a white worm but I mean it's it's, it's related to a seahorse and you know really one of the more extreme cases of morphological modifications in, in fish evolution so on a technical note I filmed this with a Enon bug eye lens, which is a close focus wide angle lens. And that lens allows me to get a you know nice in, in focus view of that fish, as you can see here. At the same time, it shows the whole environment. So this mushroom coral is essentially a solitary polyp which lays in the sand at about 20 meters in Darwin. So I hope you have enjoyed this excursion into fish behavior. Some of it, especially the puffer fish with the catfish stuck to it, is quite unique. So I've not seen footage of this or a photograph of this anywhere else. Please come back to my channel. There's something new and I hope interesting every week. And um, best fishes to you. Bye.